is to advance his kingdom in the world. It is to advance what he has, has given us um, and, and give it to others. A Norwegian leader, he said this, um, uh, loving Christ and furthering his interests in the world <coughs> is, uh, is, the, is the task of being a minister. Loving Christ and furthering his interests in the world. And friends, I've got to say this because I know that this is a leadership conference. One of the things that I learned and that has kept me sane as a Christian leader is that yes, it says that every good work is what we're going to do. But if I give my life only to count the results of the good work that I see through the Church Ali and through the Pentecostal movement of Norway, if I only give myself to count the results of the ministry I do, I do, I will be in trouble. And here is a thought that I want to close with today. We are not a marketing agency. We are not working primarily for results. We are primarily a missions group that do not count the results in order for us to be happy. No, no, no. That's 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 a market-oriented thinking. We are a mission. And at the center of the mission that we have, Christ is risen. So the first thing that we need to take care of as Christian leaders is not running to see results happen. The first thing we need to do is to ensure that we are fed correctly so that the overflow of life within us is what gives life to others. Because too many Christian leaders start acting like CEOs and leaders in the marketplace, counting results, bragging about results, counting the money and the souls and the people. And friends, that is indirectly where we're going. Where we are directly going is to the feet of Christ, where he feeds us, so that on the overflow of what he is speaking to us and what he has done for us, that's where the ministry flows. And here, my friends, this is very important, because this is the divide between a true disciple and someone that has the wrong motivation. Jesus said, I want you to first and foremost seek the kingdom of God. Don't be like these other ones that ask the questions, what are we going to clothe ourselves with tomorrow? What are we going to wear tomorrow? Where are we going to build the next building? Where are we going to build the next uh, organization? Where are we going to gather the next uh, amount of money? That's what the heathens are busy with. But I want you to be with this way, seeking the kingdom of God. Because you, as you seek it, all of the rest will be added onto you. Do you follow me? We have to start in the right place. Because if we only become people that are workers to get the job done, we will train ourselves from where he is asking us to come and eat. Because it is from that source of the scripture and the spirit. From that very source, that's where the overflow comes. So that ministry, in fact, See, I believe in this community we can see a great, great, great future. But we are not wealthy leaders. We are not leaders only in the market to get more gains and results. No, no, no. We are in a mission. And in that mission, Christ is risen. It is out of the power that He has given us that we can do this great work. Amen. Let me pray for us, and then I'll ask you all the questions.